Hi, my name is Jim Kalari. I'm the editorial director of Plastics Technology Magazine. And I am here today with Kevin Huntsman, who's the senior vice president of Mastio and Company. Over the last several weeks, Plastics Technology has been doing a series of blogs on polyethylene film markets. We've looked at the five largest markets for polyethylene film, and we are looking at the five fastest growing markets for polyethylene film. And all of these blogs, all of this content is based on research conducted by Mastio and Company, which is a market research firm based out of St. Joe's, Missouri, that has been doing quite a bit of work in plastics since its inception. So before we do a deeper dive into what we want to talk about specifically today, Kevin, could you tell me a little bit about Mastio and Company and its methodology and how long you've been doing these kinds of studies? Absolutely, Jim. First off, thank you. We appreciate it. Mastio, Jim, has been in business since 1989. So nearly our entire life, we've been uh, doing this polyethylene film study. Uh, it's by far our most popular market study that we do. We do this study every two and a half to three years, Jim. Obviously, it's popular with the resin manufacturers themselves, but also with the, con the converters, uh, resin distributors. It's also popular with uh, the, the financial world, with mergers and acquisitions and understanding what things look like from that perspective. I think one of the things I always like to focus on is the methodology that the Mastio team uses. The Mastio team, Jim, is led by Kim Inna, who's been doing this for 26, 27 plus years. And her team focuses on what we call primary research. And what I mean by that is we are actually making the telephone calls to these different companies to get a holistic view of the entire organization. And by doing that, we're talking to people in disciplines such as marketing, sales, engineering, purchasing, you may talk to an extrusion manager. So we've got a broad swath of people we talk to to, to capture that information. This study published in May, uh, excuse me, March of 2020. So the data collection was conducted le the latter part of 2019 into 2020. So it's a relatively new study, Jim. And, and obviously polyethylene is a good place to be. It's a very compelling arena, a lot of growth, a lot of things happening, a lot of things changing. And we were able to capture a lot of that feedback uh, for this new study. Excellent, thank you. So the topic today is deli bags and wrap. What are the takeaways that folks viewing this uh, little video clip and reading the blog below it should uh, should should know? Excellent question. So deli bags and wrap, it's uh, the second fastest growing market out of the 33 that we profiled. Uh, it's different than say the sheet and tubing market, which was the fourth fastest market that had over nearly 60 respond or excuse me, 60 participants. Deli Bags and Wrap has four. So it's mm. a very focused, very small group of participants. Um, top participant in this market holds 35%. So a very mm. fairly significant market share, the, val the balance being spread out across the other three. And, and I'm sure there's some other little small ones that, that are out there that we did not connect with, but still a smaller market. We see the growth really, Jim, in the supermarket area when you think about Deli Bags and Wrap and you, you go to right. the local grocery stores that have expanded their food offering. Obviously, when we captured this data, it was pre-COVID, so I'm sure it's had an impact and, yeah. and probably to the positive. As people oh, yeah. are not eating out as much, they're going to their local grocery or having things delivered and, and, and increasing that spend there versus eating out. So it would be our estimation that the growth market, the growth is even faster than what we estimated it to be as we mm -hmm. finished up this data in early 2020. Good, good. Thanks, Kevin. I appreciate your input. Um, just want to remind folks that are viewing uh, this little video clip that they should read the blog. They can click on the links, the hyperlinks in the blog to navigate to some of the other stories we have written on polyethylene film based on Mastio's research. And they can also click on the mastio.com hyperlink to their website to see what else is going on uh, with, uh, with this organization. So thanks for your time, Kevin. Appreciate it. Thanks, Jim.